Hey everybody, I'm really excited because look what we're going to be working on today. This is a um, laser cut hummingbird. Look how gorgeous this is. I'm going to spin this around. Super easy to make. I'm going to show you how we do it. Everything you need comes in the package except the fabric and you just figure out um, what's the best beautiful fabric you have that you'd like to use. Particularly batik works really well. So let's get started. Today we're going to make the stirrups and stitches, one of the silhouette hoops, which is the humming along, the hummingbird. Um, what you're going to need today is you're going to need the kit itself. You're going to need a rotary blade um, that is a wavy blade. You're going to need a piece of your um, focus fabric, and batiks work very well, and a rotary cutter, an iron, a cutting mat, and a pressing surface. So um, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to open up your package, and you're going to see a hoop that is just your regular uh, brown hoop, um, wooden hoop. Well, the only extra step I've done here is I have painted it black. Now you can paint, um, you just got to make sure that the one front is is black, the inner circle is black, and the outer circle is black. This side you can see I don't have to finish that side uh, because it's not going to be seen. You can, um, but uh, for this one, for the demonstration, we're good here. Um, we are going to, so, so paint that if you want to first and let that dry. And then we're going to go ahead, open up our instructions, and we're going to go right down, get started. First thing we're going to do is peel the paper off of our hummingbird. Here's my hummingbird. You can see him on the white a little bit better. And I am going to go ahead and peel the back. And we're going to take the paper off the entire back. And now I'm going to go around. What you're going to, this is a very heavy suede feel, and on the back is a very um, thick adhesive. It is not sticky. It's only going to be sticky when we iron it. So we're going to take that paper, throw it away. It's very pretty. But we're going to throw that away. We don't need that now. Okay, next we're going to lay the pressed batik on the ironing surface. Okay, so we're not going to cut the fabric first. Now you, the package recommends a fat quarter. Um, I have less than a fat quarter, but it's going to be okay. I just need a piece that has plenty of room around it because we're going to be cutting um, an, a half inch to an inch around. Now here's the best part about this project and this batik. I can move this around till I get it in the colors that I want. So if I wanted it mostly yellow, I could put it here. I really want some of this pink. And I'm gonna move around the uh, laser cut so that I find exactly where on my batiks that I want to place the colors underneath my laser cut. I could spend all day, but I'm not going to, so I'm going to go ahead and press. All I'm going to do is press flat down. Now, like I said, like I said, this is not sticky until I press it. It really is this easy. Just give it a nice press. I'm going to hold down. Now, what I'm going to do is run my finger along these outer edges just to make sure they are adhered. They are. It really. Make sure you have a hot, hot iron, which is what I have. Um, Okay, so now I have my piece on there. Now I'm going to put my wavy blade into my rotary cutter. These blades are fantastic and I'm going to do a bunch of other projects with these because I just love them. Okay, so I'm going to test it a little bit. I want it loose enough so that it rolls. Oh, look at that. Perfect. Okay. I'm going to put my blade over here, just setting side, because I'm going to put that back in later when I'm done. So using the wavy blade, I'm going to cut a half inch to an inch around the laser cut for the border. I'm going to go with an inch. I'm going to place this ruler so that it has my one inch marking, and I'm going to place it right around here just so it gives me a guide. 
And I am very carefully sliding the ruler as I cut to make sure that it is only one inch that I am uh, putting the circle around the outer edge. I'm uh, speeding up the camera just because um, I do did do this very carefully and very slowly and you will want to too, but there's no sense in watching me in real time do that. So now I'm going to take my hoop and I'm going to open it up. Okay. So separate the two pieces, slip the ring at one end of the chain. So here is the chain that comes with this, and it is a chain with a suction cup. Let me show that to you. There's the suction cup, there's the chain. Okay, so I am going to take this right, take my screw right off. right out. Okay, so here's what I needed to do. I don't need to take it out all the way. I'm going to put it back in a little bit. Your hoop is going, your, your, your ring of metal is going to be right over this piece of the screw here. So let me pull, push some more out here. I'm going to put the ring on and it's only going to be on that right in between my two sides of the hoop. That way it's going to keep it on top as it hangs. Okay, so you see that is fastened. This one goes under. This one goes on top. I want to make sure I've got this right where I want it because I need to be able to have it ready for um, placing straight down on my piece of artwork. So I don't have the glue to show you right now, but all I'm gonna do is, now that I know, yes, that fits on there, I'm gonna go ahead and take some glue and place it right on this part of the ring and then hold it down in place. Flip it over, it's okay if it moves a little bit. But just a little bit of that glue is going to make sure that everything stays in place. Honestly, I think that's a step that even if you skip it, I think it's going to be okay. But the instructions do say put some glue on that. So I'm making sure this is tight. I'm going to tighten it right now. And just like that, you have a beautiful finished project that is ready for your home or to give as a gift. Thanks for joining me.